the board consists of a power uh, the battery which is a 1000 milliamp power one and we are using a buck converter to, to step down the 12 volt supply to 5 volt because we have a ESP32 cam which connects with the uh, computer with the micro ROS uh, with the help of micro ROS agent uh, so for that we are using 5 volt to power this the uh, power the microcontroller of that so we are we're doing a bi-directional communication between the uh, computer node and the ESP32 camera through microphones. Three bots have been assigned three different tasks. So uh, what it's doing right now is getting the uh, XY points from the feed and then it has the uh, wave points for different uh, locations onto the contour which has been taken out from the image. So as it traces the contour, I get the feed from the camera and then there is one more uh, live script that is running that is to trace all the points which the bots are making. These are the three bots which are being displayed from the live feed and here you can see the script for running the USB cam and then here is where the micro ROS communication is happening between this uh, main centralized system and then the three bots. So the central system sends in the coordinates for the bots to move and then uh, it resolves, it does uh, inverse kinematics so that it can go to that location. Now the first bot is assigned task to uh, draw the outer surface and then the one which is starting off now is doing the inner circle and then the third one is doing the rectangle so these are assigned different tasks so they go to the location and from there on they start drawing so as they start go to the location and start drawing the x and y coordinates are sent to another node which uh, draws the live coordinates onto a uh, overlaid image of the yantra symbol However, I wanted, I used to start off a project or the commitment to finish the project was not there. Now, there's a step-by-step -step basis as to I know how to go about doing a project and how do I finish it? What is the timeline I have to give for each, uh, each uh, segment of the project? When you move from one position to another position, these bots uh, move in an oscillating way so they don't go straight to that so that tuning is something which is very important so that if you can tune that to an extent and since we had a camera above and we are getting a feedback so we were able to correct it and move it in a straight line but that's something which is important if you are having an omni wheel make sure all the wheels are touching and then the control the p control which you will have that is properly tuned so then it becomes much easier for you to move in India, apart from Yantra, I don't know like uh, where they do some research on robotics and plus they teach the students. This is one of the inspiration for me to join Yantra. In IIT Bombay, the resources that you are uh, you given is something which is not uh, available in most of the places. So like, you know, we uh, we wanted to build a board, a 3D printer is available or a laser cutter, we can use that. And then if you want to etch the board, there is milling and fabrication is available. If you want to etch, there is another electronics lab which you can go to. And if you want to drill those holes for the PCB, they, you, give, uh, you get access for that as well. So the amount of resources which you have that you can use to build ro uh, robots is something which you don't get easily access to anywhere else. In life, we have many problems. Here also, we have many problems. So, Yantra teaches us how to solve and how to go approach a problem and how to solve it. We have to just sit and we have to just brainstorm that problem. We have to face that problem and it will be solved easily. So, Yantra uh, teaches us that in life also, we will get this amount of problems. So, we have to just be patient. We have to get a correct approach and we have to solve that. Most of the curriculum right now, it's starting to grow, but most of them are DIY. So they learn it from somewhere, they implement it. So there's no concrete basis to how it's happening. So it's like a clay, unformed, uh, you know, you have a clay, but you haven't created anything out of it. So when you come to the internship here, you, you know, get to do the technical stuff as well, the smoothen out the edges with the soft skills. So it's like an entire package which comes along. So even though you might not know everything, do the connections with electronics or you know coding, that you're just combining everything together. Here you come in, you're formed into a proper uh, structure, just with different kinds of exposures and different people that you can talk to, interact with and learn.